Hello learners. In this video, we are going to talk about acoustics. Acoustics is the branch of science which deals with sound energy. It comprises the generation, transmission and reception of energy in the form of vibrational waves in the matter. The learning outcomes of this video are as at the end of this video, you people are going to differentiate in between echo and reverberation. Also, you will be able to calculate reverberation time of a fall. That points we are going to discuss in this video. Acoustics is the science of sound and deals with origin, propagation and auditory sensation of the sound. The acoustics properties of buildings were not studied on a scientific basis till 1900, but Professor Sapine laid foundations of acoustics engineering. Uh, here you can see the picture of Professor Sapine. The waves that produce a sense of sound on human air are called sound waves or audible waves, and basically their frequency is in the range of 16 hertz to 20,000 hertz. There are mechanical waves who are having frequency less than 16 hertz. The waves with frequency less than 16 hertz are called infrasonic waves. And the sound waves which are having frequency greater than 20 kilohertz are called as ultrasonic waves related to ultrasonic waves we will have discussion in next video if we talk about the speed of sound then it is uh, in the range of 344 meter per second whenever we talk about any wave of course, there will be a wave equation associated with it. Related to acoustic wave equation, it governs the propagation of acoustic waves through material medium. The form of equation is a second order partial differ differential equation and that equation is describes the evolution of acoustic pressure, or particle velocity as a function of position x and time t. The simplified form of equation describes the acoustic waves only in one special dimensions while a more general form describes the waves in three dimensions. And here you can see the equation. It is nothing but dou 2 p by dou x square minus 1 upon c square dou 2 p by dou t square is equal to 0. Here the p is nothing but the acoustic pressure. x is the distance. c is the speed of sound. t is the time period. The sound uh, is nothing but a form of wave. These are the mechanical vibrations. These vibrations, these mechanical waves, they possess the properties like reflection, refraction, absorption, etc. But if the reflection property is of high amount, then there will be some kinds of defects. That defects are echo and reverberation echo and reverberation they are the output of reflection of sound but if the reflection is of high amount we can see these two defects now how that effects are that we are going to see now echo might be you people have observed the echo at several hill stations. So what is eco? Eco is nothing but 
the reflection of sound from an obstacle uh, even though source has stopped so we can hear the multiple reflections that is possible at certain circumstances the echo is produced when sound reflected from an obstacle reaches the ear after sound from the source has already been heard and thus you will hear the repetition of sound again and again this is possible only when the distance between the obstacle and source is near about 17 meter or it should be more than 17 meter in that case only echo is heard The, when a sound is uh, reflected from a number of reflecting surfaces, multiple echoes can be heard and that is the case that you The case of echo you might have observed at the hill station. But there is another effect that we might have felt when we were there in a particular, um, in a vacant room or a room where there is a dome kind of ceilings. So that is also a reflection of sound uh, and that particular phenomenon is termed as reverberation. So we will see what is reverberation at first. Reverberation is nothing but the persistence of a sound in a room due to multiple reflections even when the source stops. The sound will remain in that environment for a particular amount of time and that time period or that feeling is termed as the reverberation. So as I have mentioned earlier, reverberation is observed in a hall which is uh, completely vacant, which is uh, without furniture. So, the time period in which the sound remains in a particular environment, that time period is termed as the reverberation time. So, scientific definition of reverberation time is given as the time taken by a sound in a room to fall from its average intensity to inaudibility is called as reverberation time of that room. The reverberation time uh, is measured in seconds and uh, which is nothing but the required time period for sound energy to diminish by 60 decibel after the sound source has stopped. There is a formula to calculate the reverberation time of any room but before going towards that as I have mentioned, the sound is nothing but the mechanical wave. It propagates in the form of mechanical wave and it has several properties like sound waves can be transmitted through the material. They can be absorbed through absorbed by the material. There will be a reflection of sound waves. There will be a diffusion of sound waves. So, we are having concern here related to the absorption of sound. So, whenever a sound wave strikes a surface, a part of energy is absorbed, part of energy is transmitted and the remaining part is reflected. The property of a source by which the sound energy is converted into other form of energy is known as the absorption. To calculate the reverberation time of any hall, one entity that we should know is nothing but coefficient of absorption. Coefficient of absorption, it is denoted with the uh, small letter, small alphabet A. And it is nothing but the effectiveness of a surface uh, in absorbing sound energy. So, to calculate the value of coefficient of absorption, the formula is sound energy absorbed by the surface divided by so total sound energy incident on the surface. The unit of this uh, small a is open window unit or it is named after a scientist Sabine. So we can give uh, the unit as uh, Sabine for coefficient of absorption.
now we will see how to calculate reverberation time of uh, any uh, hall or room for that uh, as mentioned earlier sabine has given the formula and that's why the formula is uh, termed as the sabine's formula so what professor sabine has done he has determined the reverberation times of uh, times of empty and furnished halls of different sizes and he has arrived with some conclusions uh, that conclusions are as follows the reverberation time depends on the reflecting properties of the walls floor ceilings of the hall if they are good reflectors of sound sound would take longer time to die away and reverberation time in that case will be longer the second conclusion that he has given is the reverberation time directly proportional to the physical volume v of the hall then he has also concluded that the reverberation time depends on coefficient of absorption of various surfaces such as carpet cushions curtains etc uh, that are present in the hall the greater the absorption by these materials the shorter time uh, shorter will be the time period of reverberation then he has also mentioned that uh, reverberation time he is having correlation with frequency of the sound if higher is the frequency of waves then it will give you shorter reverberation time by performing numerous experiments sabine has concluded his result and he has given the formula that is the reverberation time t of any hall is directly proportional to the volume of the hall v and inversely proportional to the total absorption in the hall that is nothing but the a so the formula is reverberation time t directly proportional to volume v of the hall and total absorption in the hall that is nothing but a so we can write the equation as t is equal to k into v by a here k is nothing but the proportionality sign uh, in order to remove the proportionality sign we have considered the we have taken the constant over here sabine uh, from his experiments he has given the value of that proportionality constant and it is nothing but 0.161 so we can rewrite the formula t is equal to 0.161 v upon a the total absorption in the hall is calculated by considering different objects present in the hall see if there are n objects then we have to consider the absorption coefficient of each object and we have to consider the surface area of that object so by taking summation of a into s absorption coefficient of absorption coefficient and surface area we can calculate the total absorption in the hall so here the formula for total absorption is provided so here as i have mentioned a1 a2 a3 these are the absorption coefficients of objects present in the hall and Uh, S1, S2, S3. These are the surface areas of the uh, absorbing materials present in the hall. So here we can give the formula as T is equal to 0.161 V upon A1, S1 plus A2, S2 plus A3, S3 up to plus A N, S N. So this is all about the reverberation time. so in this video we have seen what is the acoustics then defects due to acoustics uh, that defects are echo and reverberation uh, to get the more knowledge about reverberation we have calculated reverberation time in this video so this is all about today's video thank you for watching